what's up guys welcome back to Chris Wong vlogs and welcome back to Coco K and I am docked outside Symphony of the Seas just got off the ship and look who I'm docked next to Odyssey of the Seas my god who's been watching me since my Odyssey of the Seas vlog I have never loved and hated the ship at the same time so much before because of course this ship is beautiful but my god this contract was so incredibly tough for me but it's always good to see Odyssey of the Seas again but anyway I've got off the ship today now because in Coco Cay I'm meeting up with the casino host and uh, we're gonna catch up get some food you guys will recognize him it's the same host I was working with when I was on Ovation of the Seas Giuseppe what's up dude good to see you again <laughs> look who's back it's different to Alaska yeah oh yeah <laughs> which is better? Which is better? Alaska, definitely. Yeah, Alaska's uh, Alaska's more comfortable. It's a bit, it's a bit humid today. This is probably the nicest weather I've seen yeah, on the island in the whole contract. Right at the beginning, when I first joined, it was still like winter, so the weather wasn't always the greatest here. Yeah. All right, so that was just a quick lunch with the casino team on Odyssey. Didn't film anything. It was for, it was more for me to enjoy just catching up with friends, uh, just talking about life. But uh, I'm here with Jalen now. What's up, girl? Hi. <laughs> Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> and uh, how you like it? Your first contract with Royal. Yes, and that's my old ship right there. <laughs> and then, okay, so she came from NCL, which is quite funny because that's the ship she was working on. And now she's on Odyssey of the Seas. Let me see if I can... Norwegian what? Bliss. Oh, that's the Norwegian Bliss. Bliss. Yeah, right next to Ovation before. Right, I wonder if any of my viewers have been on Norwegian, Norwegian Bliss. But unfortunately, it's that time of the day where I've got to go back to the ship and get ready for work. Jalen's got to go to work as well. I start 2.30. She, she started 2.30, I started 2 o'clock. So it's about that time. So she's going back to Odyssey. I'm going back onto Symphony. All right, see you, Jalen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It was, uh, have a nice shift yes. at work. <laughs> So, see, you, see you next time. See you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> see you later. And that's it. Here is one of my favorite views again. Two Royal Caribbean ships docked next to each other, looking absolutely huge. All right, guys, so it is much later on in the day now. I have most definitely started my shift at work. I'm on my dinner break. And I'm just following up from today. It's really nice when two ships are docked next to each other and the casino host team, like myself, will make the effort to actually meet each other outside because this is the only time we actually get to see each other. We email each other constantly and we recognize a lot of names, but to actually make the effort to go outside, meet the other casino host team and just spend time with each other, to actually get to know each other on a personal level, it's definitely Oh no, it's a nice part of the job. Oh, look at this, just in time for the sail away. So Symphony of the Seas has just parted ways and we are heading back to Miami and I get to say goodbye to Odyssey of the Seas again. It's strange, just looking at the ship and looking at the pool deck, I can actually just remember being on there at the beginning of the restart. As I said before, this ship is one of the most beautiful ships I've been on, but was definitely one of the hardest contracts I've ever done in my entire career. But a lot of, lot of memories were made on this ship. So it's definitely nice to see Odyssey of the Seas again. And Coco K is in the background as we leave. Okay, actually, I can't tell if we're leaving or if Odyssey's leaving. Actually, <laughs> Odyssey's leaving, we're still here. So Odyssey of the Seas is sailing away and we will be heading out shortly after. Unfortunately, my days at Coco K are quite limited now because the casino is open. So whenever I go out, especially to meet with friends and the other casino host team, it's only for a very short period of time. But we make the most of it. But in the meantime, Odyssey of the Seas, it was good to see you again. Quite cool seeing you. Reminding me of my first contract back since the restart of the cruising industry. And... I'll see you next time. A very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the boardwalk on Symphony of the Seas. You can actually see some of the background of St. Martin here as we are docked today in port. But today, I am gonna have lunch 
in the Playmakers with some friends. All right, so we just sat down at our table and I'm just trying to decide what I want to eat. I would love to know what you guys think of the menu. What do you guys order when you guys come to the Playmakers? I'm definitely looking at the chicken sandwich myself. And we're gonna share a whole bunch of appetizers. So our starter has arrived. This is the Buffalo Chicken Crunch Roll. And we also have jalapeno poppers. Playmakers chicken wings are the best. 24 with every sauce available in the house. Burgers for everyone. I got the chicken burger. We have, what's this Chris? The truffle burger. Truffle burger, but you customized it a little bit. Rianne's got the biggest burger I've ever seen on the ship. Look at all of that. And Rianne couldn't, Rianne couldn't survive without a Tabasco. Typical Filipino needs, needs her spice. Look at the size of this burger. Can you pick that up? Try and pick it up. Can you pick up the whole burger? I want to see how big it is compared to you. Yo! <laughs> Look at that goodness. Chicken wings on point. And these, yeah, these buffalo chicken crunch rolls goes down a treat. All right, let's eat, let's eat, let's eat. The sauce is the cheese. Do you want other cheese? Okay. I got, that's why I got some extra cheese on there. I think it's an onion. Right? So it's dessert time and our cookie, wait what was the exact name of this? The campfire cookie. Campfire cookie, it comes with a glass of milk, we've got some cream on this, it's not ice cream, is that cream? Ice cream. Oh it is ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. And then this is cookie, marshmallow, roasted. Marshmallow, cookie. Okay, way too much food, but absolutely unreal dinner. So much food that now I have my takeout. So I'll be having my dinner tonight in the cabin. Leftover chicken wings for playmakers. Always good, consistently good. Now I'm gonna have a little rest, relax a little bit before I start my shift at work today. But vibes on the boardwalk. Very, very pleasant. Although it is about to start raining, so time to get out of here. A very lovely evening stroll through Central Park. And I think there's some live music happening. Soothing tones that you can hear right now. I want to try and get a shot of what's happening here. How nice is that? He's playing The Lion King, Can You Feel The Love Tonight? And you can actually hear the music play throughout the whole Central Park. So nice. The vibes are amazing, look at this. I could listen to this all night. Very nice. All right. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to a beautiful sea day on board Symphony of the Seas. Now, this morning, I was just browsing Instagram and I noticed Royal Caribbean blog, I believe Matt or one of his associates posted a Symphony of the Seas secret areas blog post. And I was having a look um, at some of the areas that he listed in his latest article. And I thought it would be kind of cool for me to actually find these secret hidden uh, places around the ship and show it to you in this next segment of today's cruise vlog. The first area I want to show you is the deck seven 
viewing area for the hero show so this is actually where the rock climbing wall is so there's another deck 7 viewing area on this side as well but right next to the rock climbing wall this is actually a great spot to watch the aqua show and you don't need a reservation to stand up here i've now made my way to deck 8 on central park and i want to draw your attention to this so if you have never been on an oasis class cruise ship before or if you just didn't know this was here it's quite popular now for our central park areas to have these guys here they are dotted around all over the ship not just in central park and it's kind of like a Royal Caribbean game now to try and find as many as you can. I want to draw your attention now to some of the cool artwork or works of art that you can find all around Symphony of the Seas. And I'm on the Royal Promenade now on deck five. And here, for example, you have a crushed up car of some sort. So normally they would have a classic car on all of our Royal Caribbean Royal Promenades. But on Symphony, look at that. They crushed up the car, put it into this sphere shape and they just have it displayed in the middle. Right next to the Starbucks, they have this cool metallic sculpture of some sort. It's made up of all these different triangles and uh, prisms, I think is the correct word I'm looking for. It lights up all blue inside. Yeah, just visually very pleasing to look at. And if you make your way all the way to the forward end of the promenade where the theatre is, if you look up where all of the escalators, uh, not escalators, elevators are, they have these circular balls. <laughs> I don't even know how else to really describe them. But they all have sort of different things inside. If I zoom in on this one, you can actually see the word wish all lit up beautifully. So if you make your way to deck 15, just outside the wind jammer, you also have the piano staircase this is actually quite hard to find i had to weave my way in and out but the idea is if you run up the stairs it actually makes a piano sound i'll show you now uh, <laughs> look at that <laughs> it's quite cool isn't it and i wonder if anyone's actually clever enough to make a song whilst they step on the stairs it's quite clever how that works so this is the music piano. It's the first time I'm actually trying this. I never noticed it before until somebody actually mentioned it. And why not? Let's just run back down one last time. <laughs> it's either very annoying or very cool. Yeah, I'm quite intrigued to know if anyone's actually able to make a song whilst they run up and down the stairs. I've now made my way to deck 15 in the solarium and I want to draw your attention to this thing right here because when I first saw this I actually thought it was an animal but when I looked into it this is described as a one-of-a-kind architecturally integrated installation that is comprised of thousands of acrylic elements I don't think you could see it before but the bar is directly underneath this thing let me take a closer look just to give you guys a better idea of what it is exactly. But yeah, leave in the comments what do you think of this sculpture or whatever you call it inside the solarium. It's, um, yeah, I'm not sure what to make of it if I'm going to be honest with you. Alright guys, so that concludes yet again another cruise ship vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Now before I go, I just want to finish off by showing you once again, some of the gifts that I have been given from you guys when you come on board Symphony of the Seas. And let's start off with, okay, just take a minute to look at this t-shirt, okay? How awesome is this Goku Dragon Ball Z t-shirt? Like, unbelievable. You guys know that Dragon Ball Z is a huge part of my childhood. It was and it still is my favorite anime to this day i still enjoy watching this all the time so when this gift was given to me by one of you guys unbelievable this is probably the best i don't know dragon ball z t-shirt i currently own at this moment in time and following on from my dragon ball z theme of gifts i seem to be getting um for this week on this cruise i want to take a moment to show you this gift that was handed to me 
uh, right at the beginning of the week and honestly I have no words to describe how incredible this this is okay let me just show you what it is first look at that okay hold on let me just get my camera to focus so somebody has drawn an anime of me okay that <laughs> that is me how awesome is that so he just basically took one of my instagram photos and then drew my face on a uh, dragon ball z themed piece of art like this guy he actually said it took two days for his friend to draw this and i just couldn't believe that someone actually took the time to you know not only get me a gift that would mean something very personal and valuable to me but yeah this is just cool like look at, i think i look pretty good as an anime dude no and then th this dude behind me that's goku's spirit or his ghost i mean you guys if you don't watch the series you have no idea what i'm talking about but there he is edging me on as i power through a Kamehameha blast it's like he's edging me on now like come on chris you can do it 100,000 subscribers anyways guys thank you once again for watching another cruise ship vlog on this channel and for continuing to support me thank you guys for giving me these gifts when you come on board the ship and at the time i post this video i think we're just gonna have one week left in the caribbean before symphony of the seas heads to europe for the mediterranean season so very very exciting times ahead lots of new videos lots of new ideas that i'm going to be publishing and posting on this youtube channel and i'm just excited to continue showing you my cruise ship journey as you know i head towards as I head towards the Europe for the summer. So that being said, thank you once again. Comment, like, and subscribe. I've been Chris Wong. See you later.